All right, what's up, y'all? Thanks for coming back for another video. So this week, I'm going to touch base on fall fertilizers. So this time, I am going to try to throw down a newer product. It's the Carbon Earth Stress X. That was a 4025. I have just cracked open the bag. I haven't even looked down in there yet. So you're going to see the uh, my first impression, what it looks like. And uh, I did just get finished mowing. Things are already starting to look a little yellow. Some of that is uh, predominantly from the seed stalks that uh, were in there where the grass was going to seed. There is a little bit of fungus in the uh, lawn, which I've already taken care of. There's some uh, propiconazole and azoxystrobin dye sprayed down a few days ago. So that'll be taken care of. So we're gonna get this cracking. So we have spreader settings. We're going to three pound per thousand. So we have a Scott's Elite Spreader, EdgeGuard, DLX, uh, this is some sort of EdgeGuard. It's not the many, I believe I have like a DLX. So it says set it to spreader setting a six. I'll run with that. We'll see what this, uh, what this does. So let me get this guy poured out and uh, see what it looks like. All right, all right, all right. Got the whole bag thrown in here. And uh, to me, this kind of looks a lot like the Maybe like the first run of Carbon X. You had the uh, the cookie crisp color, right? About the same pearl size. And uh, had a little bit of an odor to it. It was definitely um, putting off a lot of uh, dust as I was pouring it out. Maybe I should have worn a mask because I felt like tickling my nose hairs a little bit. But it is uh, 9 o'clock at night as I'm recording this. So I need to get cracking before I run out of daylight. The uh, camera isn't doing justice here, but it's a little dark. I've already got my lights on. So uh, I'll get this spread down. Um, cool thing about this for me, this whole bag covers 15,000 square feet. I just happen to have 15,000 square feet. So this whole bag will do me. And uh, I think what I'll do is in the next couple of days, it's supposed to rain. Let's flip this around. So the next couple of days, it's supposed to rain, thunderstorms and everything. So it should water this in pretty good. So what I'll do is um, I'll check back uh, within a couple, couple days, a few days, maybe maybe a week. We'll see how things look. And, uh, and we'll touch back and uh, see what this looks like. So uh, stay tuned here. And, and uh... All right. Maybe, maybe a quick uh, intermission here. So uh, I've got, you can see where my straps are going. So I've got from here over to the property line. It's maybe thousand feet 1500 square feet and I'm out this is only the 8,000 square foot section so that would tell me that uh setting to a six and the way I was putting it down I did roughly about double rate so uh yeah so that means I'm just gonna have to throw the other bag in there and we will put down the rest of it I guess we'll see So as I'm going through and I'm kind of editing this stuff out, uh, kind of, kind of to the end of this video. So, what did I learn? Well, one, I need to really learn how to use the spreader a little bit better, apparently, because I have my passes a little bit too close. It's the only way I can figure out exactly what happened is my passes were just a little bit too close, causing the uh, the over application of the X stress. Uh, Luckily for me, running high amounts of potassium doesn't really cause any damage to the lawn, or at least any other research after I kind of did it. I did a little bit of research, and there's no studies that really say running a ton of potassium would have any adverse effects on the lawn. 
Now there are reports that say everywhere, you know, having potassium deficiencies can definitely have some issues uh, between leading to uh, fungus issues and onset of, of heat stress, um, winter damage uh, during during the winter. So deficiencies definitely have an impact, but over application, no real proof of one way or the other if it really does anything. And so that's kind of good enough for me and plus what I have clearly done to my yard uh, figure I was running a double application so that's like almost a pound and a half of potassium that I put down on my yard and no real effect now, if I ran a soil sample the potassium might be off the chart but other than that I think that uh, everything else was kind of good so kind of lesson learned I need to work with my spreader a little bit more. I, don't, I haven't used it as much as I have been. Um, been trying to do more chemical applications and stuff between my ammonium sulfate, potassium nitrate. So I haven't put down a whole lot of granular fertilizer, um, just because it, it's a little bit easier to walk and spray as it is. You know, trying to use a, a, a hopper and I go through it with that, that spreader and having 50, 60 pounds of fertilizer hitting my hill. Ultimately, I did end up hitting a, a bump and cause things to uh, kind of spill out of the uh, spreader a little bit. So I really kind of hate using the granular fertilizers anymore um, just because I hate fighting with the hill and it bouncing around and everything and ultimately over applying. So I guess kind of this is a fun little experiment I guess it inadvertently turned into. I just wanted to put down a little bit of potassium to help with the heat stress. Looks like I did end up getting a little bit of heat stress anyway because we just had hardly any rain. We got it all in the spring again and then goes on the drought. Um, it is raining today so maybe that'll help pick things back up. The backyard doesn't really have any uh, signs of heat stress but it's a little bit more shaded and there's a little bit different varieties of the tall fescue back there. So it's a little bit more uh, uh, stress tolerant. So I wish the front yard was really that, uh, uh, had that same type of turf grass in there, but it doesn't, maybe in time, it'll get overseeded in and kind of work its way through. But that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.